so those few shots were from Ladies Beach, which I never would have known about if my friend Georgie didn't tell me about it and how to get there because you go down this like, it seems like a one way, but I know it's a two way, sandy dirt road and you go for like ever and there's all these beautiful fields beside you and there's like no cars and then suddenly you come to this clearing and there's a parking lot and then there's this gorgeous beach. Um, so for anyone who wants to check out Ladies Beach, it's right near Cisco Brewery and also Bartlett Farm, which is where I'm headed. So that was just a little pit stop. And now I'm gonna go pick up some veggies and maybe an aloe plant because I got a little bit sunburnt on a bike ride yesterday. Taking this guy home with me. in the sand and they immediately go down. Alright guys, here we go. So we're heading to another beach now that is a long drive down a dirt road covered in greenery. So beautiful, like the drive alone is worth it. Um, but I'm heading to my comet now and I actually think I finally see the parking lot up there and the little paths to the beach. So really I guess the key to going to the beach in Nantucket is just keep driving even when you think you're in the middle of nowhere and you're completely lost. Just keep going. Okay folks, I have made it to my comet beach. Um, I believe I'm heading to a beach that's on the ocean. I think there's also like beach on the pond. When I was reading about this beach online, people said that it's really quiet and uh, obviously since it's kind of off the beaten path, I'm sure not as many people know about it or come here. Um, and I did read rumors that there's a nude section of the beach, which I will not be seeking out, but I will be walking. So if I happen to come upon it, I will spare you guys and not film it for the vlog. I sat on the beach for like an hour and a half, just reading my book, relaxing. There was another woman doing yoga. I was like, maybe I'll do some yoga. And this old dude decided that right next to me would be the perfect spot on a deserted beach to sit down and remove his pants. Now I knew this was a possibility, but you know, I figured maybe someone would choose a place a little more private. But alas, he did not. So, I'm off to check out some other parts of the beach. I want to check out the actual Maya Comet Pond part. As I was driving in here, there were like a bunch of different kind of trails and twists and turns, and I kind of just took what seemed like the main road. But I'm gonna see what some of the other little roads lead to, and if it's anything cool, I'll show you guys too. Okay, so my comet is absolutely gorgeous, and that rainbow was like the cherry on top of uh, today's Sunday. But 
Just don't walk too far down to the left unless you want to go to a nude beach, which like more to you. I just like wasn't prepared for that today. I'm off to the beach this morning. Um, it's just about a mile bike ride. I have a little smoothie packed in my back bag there, my book, and I'm ready to enjoy a nice sunny morning. This has to be the cutest thing ever. Water, treats, and balls for dogs. cottage I'm staying at this summer. So the bike over to Surfside Beach is just about a mile there and a mile back, which is a nice bike ride. The other day my friend Georgie and I did Surfside to Sconset, which is like eight miles out, eight miles back. Um, and it was really, really nice, but it was a lot. I wouldn't want to do it that often, but this bike ride I feel like is good for more of like a daily bike ride. So now I'm gonna take an outdoor shower. I love outdoor showers, so I'm super excited that the house I'm staying at has one. And there's a super cute, did I forget to mention, it's a waterfall shower head. Yeah. Okay, I am all dressed and ready for the day, um, but I'm kind of tired from my bike ride and beach adventure, so I'm gonna go rest, and I'll hit you guys back when I'm doing something a little more interesting. Mm -hmm. 